So let's begin with the premeditative postures. The first posture is Dandasan. Straighten both legs out in front of you and flex your toes back toward you, keeping your big toes touching. Place your fingers onto the floor behind you and lift the top corners of your chest up to lengthen your spine. Feel the length between the sit bone and your shoulder blade. Firm the top thighs and feel the lower back drawing into your body. Breathe smoothly, inhale and exhale, keeping that long, smooth breath with the echoey sound from the throat. Inhale and exhale. Feel the length between the sit bone and the top of your head. Inhale and exhale. Now the next posture is hip knee alignment. Bend your right knee up into the air, keeping your right heel in line with the right sit bone. Take your left hand to hold just below the right knee and your right hand to hold lower down on the shin bone. Again, lift the top corners of the chest up and just sit quietly and feel deep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Keep your breathing going. It's that smooth breathing that will allow your body to release its stress, realign itself and find the correct posture. So keep that echoey breath from your throat going. Inhale and exhale. Great. Now take your right foot and place it onto the outside of the extended leg. Take your right hand onto the floor behind you and lift your left arm up into the air to get a nice tall stretch. Inhale and exhale, bring your hand to hold the outside of the knee or even use your forearm to hug the thigh. Keep your spine lifted tall though and slowly spiral around the axis of the spine. Don't bend into yourself, keep your spine nice and tall and kind of spiral around the spinal column. Let your shoulders follow remaining level and your eyes follow remaining level. Don't strain your neck. Just breathe through and get to release the tension from your spine. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Great. Come forward to the center. Take the right foot and pull it back toward the left hip. Great. Take your hands and separate the fleshy part of the butt to the sides. Place your fingertips onto the floor behind you. Now, inhale, lift the top corners of the chest up, lengthen your spine and exhale, slowly ease yourself forward in the posture. But don't sacrifice the tallness of the spine for leaning forward. Keep the spine nice and long and inhale, lift, exhale, ease into it. Finally, take your hand one at a time out in front of you onto your fingertips and keep the lifting as you slowly move more and more forward. It really doesn't matter how far you go, it matters that you slowly stretch out the hamstring muscle and release the tension from behind the leg. So in this posture, take another two breaths. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, ease into it. One more, nice full breath, echoing breath in, deep breath, and exhale into it. Great. Walk your hands back up to come and sit up tall. Straighten both legs out in front of you to sit into Dandasan. Fingers on the floor, toes flex back toward you, top thighs firm, lumbar spine, lower back drawn into your body. Now we're going to do the other side. Take your left knee, bend it up into the air. Keep the left foot in line with the left sit bone. That's it. And then take your right hand to hold just below the knee and your left hand hold lower down on the shin bone. Sit nice and tall, 
Keep the right toes flexed back toward you, the top corners of the chest lifted, spine nice and tall, your head kind of floats on top of the neck. Don't strain the neck and head. Great. Inhale and exhale. This realigns your hip structure. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Great. Now, take your left foot and put it to the outside of the extended leg. Get it firm. Take your left hand onto the floor behind you and lift your right arm right up toward the ceiling, nice and tall. Inhale and exhale. Bring the hand down to hold the knee or again, use the forearm to sort of hug that thigh. Keep your spine nice and tall and spiral around the spinal column. The twist is around your spine. Let your shoulders follow and let your eyes follow, keeping shoulders and eyes level to the floor. Inhale and exhale. It's a great release to feel that spine releasing out the tension. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Come forward to the center. Take your left foot back toward the outside right hip. Flex the toes in both feet toward their respective shin bone. Place the fingertip on the floor behind you. And again, lift the top corners of the chest up. Inhale and exhale. Turn the sit bone back a little behind you. Keep your toes flexed so the legs are active. Inhale and exhale. Nice full breathing, echoing breath. Inhale and exhale, ease into it. One more, please. Inhale and exhale. Great. Slowly take the one hand forward, take the other arm forward, and deepen even more into it, releasing the pressure from the hips and behind the leg. Breathe smoothly through. Use your breath. When you inhale, feel the lifting. And when you exhale, feel yourself kind of ease into the posture. Great. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Walk your hands back up. Take both legs out in front of you, and once more, Dandasan just to align. Big toes touch, legs stretched out in front of you. Draw your toes back toward you. Firm your top thigh. Draw the lower back into the body. Lift the top corners of your chest up, and feel the length between the, the sit bone down on the floor and the top of the head toward the ceiling. Breathe two breaths, inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now, I'd like you to come from here to sit into a comfortable cross-legged position. For a lot of people, this will be a difficult seat. So you can take a pillow or a folded blanket or even a yellow pages phone book and place it under your seat. If your knees are troublesome, take a large towel, roll it up, and place it underneath your knees. That will take pressure out of your knees. One can sit against a wall if their spine is not comfortable. Now, a more advanced seat is to take one foot and place it on top of the other leg like that, single lotus. Keep your spine nice and tall. Take your hands and place your hands underneath the armpit. This is called Padir Sasana. Sitting like this, become aware of your breath flow. Feel as you inhale, feel the rib cage lifts up, and as you exhale, the rib cage lowers down. 
this gives a tremendous sense of how the breath fills the whole chest cavity. On the inhalation, the ribs swell, and the floor of the chest cavity is the diaphragm. It presses down. When you breathe out, you feel the chest relaxes, the ribs lower down, and the diaphragm lifts back up. Your belly draws in. Sit quietly now. At this point, if you like, close your eyes and actually become deeply aware of that breathing. Feel the expansion as you inhale and the contraction as you exhale. Even sense how in the heart center, how the heart center expands on inhale and contracts on exhale. But try and feel that the expansion becomes grander or larger than the contraction. To get the sense of your whole heart center opening and expanding. When your heart center is opened and relaxed, your emotions have become calm and still. At this point, lower your hands down and lower them over your knees, bringing together the index finger and the thumb. If you are restless in nature, you can place one palm on top of the other and feel that the more active palm is on top. Sit quietly, allow your breath to adjust, and feel how the body feels really still. Having got the breath calm and deep, the body feels like a statue. As you get the sense of the body so still, visualize as if there were a hand above the top of your head and feel as if that hand were pouring down into your brain a warm glowing presence, calming your entire brain. Feel that glowing presence move down the spine all the way down to the base. Really try to enliven your spinal column. Feel your spine. It's the central cord of your consciousness and of your being. Along the spine, lies different nerve plexuses, different levels of consciousness. To balance these different centers, feel at the base of the spine, right down at the base. Visualize a golden square. Feel a golden square. Just think it and visualize it. It will balance your material nature, your survival nature, by just visualizing a golden square at the base of the spine. Bring your attention up about four inches up the spine to the area which is behind the pubic line in front of the spine. Visualize a silver crescent moon. This image in this center will balance the center which governs likes and dislikes, attractions, repulsion. It will balance 
lust and greed. Visualize just the silver crescent moon in that center. Move your attention up to the area of the spine behind the navel. This center governs the strength of the mind and the condition of your mind, the heat of your body. Visualize here a red triangle with its point facing downward. And just try and feel and visualize this form and this image. So feeling the red triangle balances the mind's field, stopping it from being introvert or extrovert. Just feel the red triangle behind the navel. Now draw your attention up from the navel to the area between your shoulder blade but in front of the spine. And here in this energy center or chakra, feel a six-pointed star, like one triangle up and one triangle down, powdery blue in color. This will balance your emotional field and give you a sense of unconditional love and unconditional joy. Just try and feel this image in your heart, a six-pointed powdery blue star. The whole heart center will become soft and calm. Move up to the next center, which is in the throat. In front of the spine, behind the little bump in the throat. Feel in the center a shape, an oval shape with a purpley gray color, like a stone shape. This center governs communication, not only between you and someone or the world outside, but it enables one to communicate a higher intelligence, an inspirational intelligence into your living. So just feel the stone shape from the neck protruding upward in towards the center of your brain. Now feel at the center of the brain, between the eyebrow, but right in the center of the brain. To get this locality, you can lick one finger and put a little drop of saliva between the eyebrow. Feel from in the center as if there's just like a violet glow, and in the center of that glow, a white light pulsing white light. Sometimes it will seem even like a star pulsing. This is the center of inspiration, of intuition. This is a center through which a higher intelligence comes. We're able to tune to a higher force through the center, a force that is beyond thought, word, and form. Gently look into the center. There's always like an inner radiance and an inner sound that begins to develop deep inside. 
As this center opens, allow your attention to move upward. Feeling both lobes of the brain unfolding, relaxing. And to feel as if your brain just opens like a large white flower. And as the brain opens like a large flower, you feel this tremendous light and stillness. A state of consciousness that is totally beyond form or shape. A state of consciousness that is permanent, immortal, and unlimited. Sit quietly and learn to explore this divine state. Listen in, look in, and enjoy this inner peace. Let it saturate your being. Its song is om, like a resonating sound, an echoey sound from the center of your brain. As you need till you feel completely saturated, till every cell is completely saturated with this state. And to bring yourself back out from meditation, press the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Bring your palms together and very lightly rub the palms, feeling the electricity. Separate them a little bit apart and feel like a puffy feeling, like a magnetic feeling, a heat between them. Bring your palms over your eyes and feel this heat and this radiance going from your hands into your eyes and right into the center of your brain. Draw this heat down the face, under the jawline, and into the back of the neck. Then bring the energy from the back of the neck around and crossing one hand in front of the other over your throat. Feel the energy into your throat. Draw the energy down, two ribs down to where the area of the thymus gland is. Draw the hands down to the heart center, to the solar plexus, 
to the navel, dropping your chin downward. And then finally, bring the hands down to the pubic line area to really root and ground the energy back down. Massage the energy into your thighs and into your knees and into your feet. Having rerouted this energy, take this magnificent energy and bring it from your center and direct it into each moment of your living. Hari Om, Om Tat Sat.